Hey, Charles Hoffman here from Plugin Alliance. BX Pulsar is a new delay plugin from Brainworks. It includes five delay algorithms, each with a unique sound and set of controls. BX Pulsar has the essential features you'd expect in a delay plugin like delay time, mix, and feedback. There's also a filter section, a delay line sequencer, groove controls, and a built in ducker. It's the perfect companion to Brainworks' flagship reverb plugin, BX Aura. I need you, I need you, I need you. I need you, I need you, I need you. To demo Brainworks BX Pulsar, start a free Plugin Alliance subscription trial using the link below. This will give you access to all of Plugin Alliance's products for 30 days. Let's start with the main controls in the center of the interface. Delay affects the delay time. Larger values result in longer intervals between each echo. By default, the delay time is in note values, but you can change it to milliseconds by clicking the sync button. Feedback adjusts the amplitude of the signal fed back into the delay engine. The higher this value, the longer the delay effect. Mix controls the blend between the unprocessed signal and the delayed signal. You can control the width and pan position of the delayed signal using the width and pan knobs. The plugin includes five delay modes. There's Air, which is a transparent digital delay with diffusion and modulation. Magnetic is a tape style delay with reel, space, cassette, and dusty submodes. Circuit is inspired by analog BBD delays and includes studio, vintage, pedal, and modded submodes. Aether produces experimental textures that include pitch shifting, grain, and sparkle effects. Reverse reverses the signal and smooths out transients using subtle compression. Mod amount applies pitch modulation to the algorithm, adding natural or unnatural variation to the echoes. Mod rate adjusts how rapidly the pitch modulation is applied. The freeze parameter can be automated to create some interesting sustained effects. It repeats the current echo indefinitely until freeze is disabled. At that point, the echoes continue to reduce in level.
Diffusion is one of BX Pulsar's more unique effects. It lets you create washed out echoes that sound reverberant and almost swell like pads. You can choose between a small or large amount of reverb. To make the most of this feature, I recommend using a high feedback amount and then experimenting with different delay times. It's fairly common to remove some lows and highs from a delayed sound to prevent it from clashing with and overtaking the dry sound. The filters section allows you to do this. You can either filter the sound before it enters the delay engine or after it. The damping controls apply attenuating shelving filters that sit in the feedback path of each delay line. With each repetition, the signal is dampened by a percentage. For example, if you dampen the highs, echoes that occur later will have less top end than initial echoes. The pattern section lets you route the incoming signal differently. In mono mode, the input signal will get summed to mono when run through the delay engine. In stereo mode, the width of the stereo sound is maintained in the delayed signal. Ping pong creates a classic left-right bouncing effect. and crisscross swaps the signal running through the left and right channels with each echo. Instead of the entire stereo image shifting to the left or right like in ping pong mode, you'll hear the left and right channels continuously swap places. It's easiest to hear this when the left and right channels contain significantly different information. Ratio modifies the delay time of the right channel, allowing you to create interesting polyrhythm effects. If you continue to cycle through these settings, you'll find a semitone ratio, plastic ratio, and golden ratio. These ratios are irrational, meaning they can't be expressed as simple note values. Because of that, the right echo will never perfectly align with the left. Instead, they'll continue to drift, creating rhythmic patterns that feel organic and constantly evolving. This prevents repetition and adds a layer of movement that's impossible with standard synced delays. LR offset adds a delay between the channels. This allows you to add subtle width to delays that would otherwise appear monophonic. When you click on sequence, a step sequencer appears that provides you with detailed control over the left-right position of each echo. You can assign each step to the left, right, or an in-between value. There's an option to adjust the number of steps. The sequence will repeat by default. If you change the mode to once, the sequence will occur once and then the echoes will stop.
The groove section lets you add swing to echoes, giving them a more attention-grabbing rhythm. Offset acts like a pre-delay feature, adjusting the timing of the first echo in relation to the dry sound. The ducker section lets you duck the volume of the wet signal to make room for the dry signal. If you're using a large feedback amount and short delay time, it's possible to create washed out spatial effects. Typically, that can interfere with the articulation of sounds, but not when you use the ducker. High amount settings lead to more intense ducking effects. The release knob controls how quickly the signal returns to its normal level. Target determines where in the signal path the audio is ducked. When set to post, the plugin's output is ducked by the input signal, which will duck effects like the reverb applied by diffusion. In feedback mode, the feedback signal gets ducked, causing each echo to get quieter. As a result, this leads to delays that decay quickly. There's also a post and feedback option that applies both forms of processing to your sound. <laughs> Using an external sidechain signal to trigger the ducker is also an option. Just click the external sidechain button. At the top of the interface, there's a bypass switch. UI scale options, undo and redo buttons, and four parameter banks labeled A, B, C, and D. You can copy the settings from one bank to another, experiment with different settings, and make comparisons. The test tone button lets you run a click through the plugin to hear how your settings will affect a transient sound. Wet gain changes the level of the echoes, allowing you to create echoes that are louder than the dry signal. The circle icon in the top right turns the delay animation off to free up computer processing power. If you're running a heavy session, you might want to disable the animation. To demo Brainworks BX Pulsar, start a free Plugin Alliance subscription trial using the link below. This will give you access to all of Plugin Alliance's products for 30 days. If this video helped you out, give it a like and subscribe to the Plugin Alliance YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.